Hey Nerdy Knitter, in today's video we're going to look at shawls that are perfect to use up those leftover yarns or your mini skeins. Now a mini skein is a small skein of yarn, usually 20 to 28 grams of yarn, and they come in sets of 2, 3, 4, 5, even up to 10 or more. But you can also create your own mini skeins. If you have a good leftover stash, you can scour through those leftovers and combine your colors and create your own set of mini skeins. So these project ideas are perfect for those mini skeins or for stash diving. But before we look at those patterns, let me just say, hey, I'm Tanya here at Nerdy Knitting. I'm a certified knitting instructor and a knitwear designer, and my goal is to help you become a confident, adventurous knitter. Now, the first shawl on this list is the Cassiopeia shawl. This shawl is knit on the bias with an easy eyelet textured stitch. Now, in the sample itself, they used 16 fingering or sock weight mini skeins, but the designer mentions that 12 are enough for a good sized wrap, and it's also easy to to adjust the length. Then we have the Breakers Shawlette. Now this one's knit in Knit Picks Stroll sock yarn. They have their own gradient sets. It's an asymmetrical garter stitch shawlette that's worked from left to right with increases worked on every row to create the shawl shape. Yarn overs and decreases are used to create the waves pattern in the shawl and it's broken up into different blocks of color with wide stripes. Then there's the Rivon Shawl. This one was worked in Sweet Georgia Tough Love Sock. It's a rectangular shawl worked from the bottom edge to the top. It begins with small triangles worked from the center outward. This creates that zigzag shape. Then the triangles are joined together and the shawl is worked from that edge and ends up with a chevron shape. This uses one solid color for the background of the shawl and then mini skeins are used for texture stripes along the body. Fourth on our list is 8th Avenue. Now this one uses one solid main color and then eight mini skeins, but could easily be adapted to use more. It's a rectangular wrap knit on the bias with garter stitch background and sections of simple lace and stripes. Number five is the Sunbow Shawl. Now this one also uses those tonal sets from Knit Picks in their Stroll Fingering Sock Yarn. It's an asymmetrical crescent shawl. It's worked from the top down. You start at the center and work to the outer edge. Wedges of stockinette in one solid color are shaped with short rows and rows of mini skein colors are woven throughout. Those colors are then worked in reverse order to create the border of the shawl. Number six on our list is Lessity. Now this is a half pie shawl and it uses the Sweet Georgia Party of Five, a set of five gradient colors and the colors create this beautiful gradient and the shawl features sections of plain stockinette along with some pretty sections of lace. Then we have Soft Twilight. Now this beautiful asymmetrical triangle shawl was designed to be used with the Sweet Georgia Party of Five yarn as well. It's really interesting, beautiful texture that uses slip stitches and simple cable crossings. And then we have Into the Woods. Now this is a crescent shawl and uses five fingering or sock weight mini skeins. It's worked top down with an eyelet edge, the body's in stockinette, and then it has sections of lace along with a pretty lace edging. Now, if you're ready to dive into your stash and create your own little mini skeins, let's walk through each step of that process. Now you're going to need a kitchen scale to weigh your yarn, and we're gonna turn it into little cakes right away or little balls of yarn. So you'll wanna wrap it around your fingers or you can use a Nasta pin or even a really wide knitting needle. You're gonna start by sorting through your leftovers and putting them into their different yarn weights, your fingering weights, your worsted, your Aran, your bulky, whatever you have and then you can combine them by color and choose the ones that look really good together or you think would be really nice together in a project or a shawl like those shawls we had in this video. Once you have your colors selected, it's time to weigh them out and make your little mini skeins. That's when you need that kitchen scale. Once you have your yarn, you are ready to go. Choose your shawl pattern and start knitting with your own mini skeins. Now, if you have a pattern that would be perfect for mini skeins or using up leftovers, please leave a comment and tell me about it. I would love to hear about it. And if you're looking for more pattern recommendations, go down and check out those comments, see what other knitters are recommending and knitting. And if you're looking for even more mini skein ideas, check out this video right here.